So today we're gonna make some jalapeno poppers, little game day appetizers for coming up on championship weekend in the NFL. It's gonna be a good weekend of football. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you make some of these, all right? We are using the original Ninja Foodie Grill. We got some big old thick jalapenos, all right? <laughs> Boy, they thick. So uh, the first thing I did was just cut, I cut about a third of the top off, all right? So I left the stem on, so you have a little handle as you're eating them, right? And then um, I cleared out all the seeds, all the ribs, all that good stuff in there. And then the third of the jalapenos I cut off, I did a nice little dice on the jalapeno, uh, the one third of the jalapenos that we chopped off. We're gonna saute those with some bacon bits and put those into the cheese mixture. So we got cream cheese, we got pepper jack cheese. We're gonna use a little all-purpose rub from Caribbean Q, and then we're gonna put our jalapeno bits and bacon bits in that mix. Mix it up, put it in the jalapeno boat, right? <laughs> Wrap it up in bacon, air crisp it, 400, about 10 minutes, solid, solid snack for the game, all right? So nothing left to do but get over to our Ninja Foodie Grill station, otherwise known as my kitchen island. Let's get started. Okay, we got our bacon ready. We got six slices of bacon. We have six jalapeno boats. All right, we got one pack of softened cream cheese. When I say softened, I just let it out to room temperature. On the stove, we got the bacon rendering down. Had a good tablespoon of Kirby Q's all-purpose rub in there. All right, we got some pepper jack. We're gonna grate it over the top here. All right, we got our bacon going. Little bacon bits. Don't know if you can see that. We got our Ninja Foodie. Never stick pans. We're gonna add in our jalapenos, our diced jalapenos in there. And we're just gonna let these get cooked through. The bacon will get crispy. The jalapenos will get, get tons of flavor from the bacon and the saute. And then we'll add this mix to our cheese mix. After this is all done getting cooked up, all crispy bacon and all that, we're going to let it cool down and then we'll throw it in our mix. Okay, bacon's done and cooling. We're gonna turn this bad boy on and get preheating. Air crisp, we're gonna go ahead and go 400 because we're crazy that way. Inside, we got the air crisp basket. We're gonna set it for 15 minutes, but we're gonna check it after 10. I think 10 is gonna be good enough to get that bacon where we wanna be. So, let's go. Okay, while that's heating up, it's almost done actually. We got our crispy bacon and our crispy jalapenos going in the mix. There's our mixture. We're just gonna get it in there and mix it up real nice. All right, we're all nice and mixed up. We're ready to go. Put this aside. We got a plate here, and we're gonna get ready to fill these peppers, fill these pepper boats. All right, you just take a heaping amount. And guys, I, I I don't know if you're like me, but I tend to be on the caution side as far as uh, peppers go, and I know this is gonna be a big old mess, so I decided to wear my gloves <laughs> just in case, because you know this is gonna be a, me a messy, messy little dish here so our mix again has cream cheese pepper jack cheese little uh sauteed jalapeno and bacon bits and of course we got some caribbean q all-purpose rub we gotta finish these other ones up okay now we're gonna wrap them up in bacon we're gonna start at the bottom here wrap it around itself and then wrap it up there you go wrap it up the jalapeno popper all right all our poppers are wrapped let's get them in the foodie grill one last thing before we get these into the foodie grill we're gonna put a little honey heat on there Little sweet heat, never hurt anybody. Just add into the flavor, baby. Okay, we got the air basket in there. Now let's arrange these jalapenos. No, you got that sizzle, sizzle. Like I was saying, these are some really big jalapenos. So normally you could probably fit a few more in there, but these six just huge jungus <laughs> jalapenos are ready to go all right we're gonna check it at five minutes we'll check it at 10 minutes i think 10 minutes should be enough to get the bacon where we want it to be but we will check 
All right, first five minutes is up. We're getting crispy in there. The cheese is gonna bust out. We we overloaded it. It's okay. They're not gonna win any beauty contest. Don't worry. This is truly it's what's on the inside counts. All right, so five minutes down. Another five minutes. We'll check it again. Okay, another five minutes or so in. I was wrong. We probably need to go another three minutes, maybe five minutes. But we got a little leakage over here. Don't worry. It's okay. I love the crispy, uh, crispy cheese going on on the tops here. That one's gonna get nice and fired up in a hot second. Looking good. Looking real good. I, I love the the blowouts and the mess. It's a freaking awesome. All right. Here's the deal, guys. I think we're done. Bacon's looking nice and crispy. The cheese is everywhere. Anyway, uh, we're gonna pull these out. We have to let them cool. I cannot put those lava monsters in my uh, my pie hole right now. But I'm gonna get them out, get them on the cutting board, take the thumbnail, let them cool down just a tad bit so I don't kill my the roof of my mouth, and then we'll uh, talk about it. All right, guys, we're done. We cooked it for a total of 14 minutes. Uh, I know I was on the fence between 10 and 15. 14 is what we came up with. All right, now it's time to try this. I'm gonna hold it up and burn my fingers whilst you enjoy. Look at that bad boy right there. That's looking dang good right there. That's a jalapeno popper if I ever seen one. I'm gonna take a bite, okay? I do this for you because I love you. I know it's gonna hurt, but love is pain. <laughs> Man, that's good. <laughs> Man, that's good. That is some flavor. Oh my gosh. Guys, this one is a winner and a half. <laughs> Listen, if you're not putting some bacon in the filling, you know, you just ain't living right. Okay, so get some of that crispy bacon in the filling, all right? What do I like to say? It's money in the bank, baby. Oh, so freaking good. Anyway, I'm going to do this again this weekend for game day, and I'm probably going to do it on Super Bowl too. All right. Some good eating right there, baby. All right, guys, if you're interested in getting one of these Ninja Foodie Grills, as always, links down below. Uh, knives, cutting boards, merch, all that stuff down below. If you want to become part of CJ's crew for real, hit that join button down there. Get you some little perks along the way. Get your name on the end of the credits. If you join that top tier, I send you out some CJ swag. Guys, every little bit helps the channel and it just brings us closer together, all right? If you haven't done so already, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below, and tell me what you put in your jalapeno poppers, all right? That's it for this one, guys. Thank y'all for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.